Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video, we're going to briefly discuss the difference between invoicing and quoting. Um, this is an issue that's act that actually comes up a lot, and, and as a practical matter, is just some sort of it, it's sort of an insight that once people understand the difference between these two things, um, it's really it's really kind of enlightening with respect to doing business here. Um, I, I will often get um, folks, uh, clients who will request an invoice for services uh, before we've gotten started. Basically, they're requesting an invoice because they want to know how much something's going to cost. And I will oftentimes send those, I'll, I'll tell those folks in an email, I'll say, look, um, due to the regime here in Thailand, the tax regime here in Thailand, the way their compliance codes work, I'll go ahead and send you a quotation. And most folks say, well, why are you sending me a quotation? Because in Thailand, and this is the important part, when, it, when a tax invoice is issued pursuant to the revenue code, um, the, the tax income to be derived for the revenue department here in Thailand, that tax income becomes immediately, it becomes an immediate tax liability to the issuer of the tax invoice. So whether or not the money has been received is irrelevant to that. If an invoice is issued, that's the moment at which the revenue department believes that they're, they're owed um, taxes. Uh, this isn't overly important with respect to overall corporate income tax, and actually the provisions on this came into effect before VAT came along, but for purposes of VAT it's extremely important because VAT is payable on a monthly basis, and in order to maintain compliance with revenue department, one has to maintain one's VAT filings month to month. So for example, if a tax invoice is issued, and that invoice, or if an invoice is issued, doesn't even have to say tax invoice, just invoice. If an invoice is issued, and that individual, the individual, the counterparty hasn't doesn't pay it um, within the month, uh, within the taxable month, then the person issuing the invoice can have some problems because they're going to have to pay the VAT liability that they owe, notwithstanding the fact that they haven't been paid yet, and in some cases they might not ever be paid ever. And, and, so, and yet this invoice exists and there's a tax liability attached there too. So for this reason, uh, quotations, uh, providing fee quotes or providing quotes to those who wish to purchase product, those who wish to purchase services, those who wish to do any sort of business with a, bit, with a company here in Thailand, it's often a good idea to just go ahead and issue a quote rather than a tax invoice because a fee quote um, does not have these, I won't say onerous, but does not have these tax liability issues attached to it. So for that reason, it's sometimes a good idea to go ahead and issue a quotation uh, rather than an invoice. And it's been my experience that once this is explained to counterparties, especially in a foreign context, most people understand, okay, you have to issue a quotation because you're immediately liable for taxes here in the country. And, you know, we don't even know if we want to we wanna purchase your services or buy your product yet. So please go ahead and issue us a quotation. And then once uh, things are underway, uh, tax invoicing and things like that can be dealt with uh, once once sort of the re the business relationship is more firmed up. So for that reason, it's kind of a it's kind of uh, revelatory to understand the difference between quotations and invoicing in the context of Thai revenue.